Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is exponential distribution. So what is an exponential distribution? Suppose that some event occurs as Poisson process. That is, the number of times an event occurs is a Poisson random variable. What is that? First of all, we have a video about about Poisson distribution, and the link is in our video description. But let's have a brief review. So Poisson process or Poisson distribution models the number of occurrence in some unit of measure, often time or distance, so it is a continuous me uh, measure. There is no limit in the number of occurrence, and the average number of occurrence per unit is a constant denoted as lambda or any other one and the expected value and variance are the same. So variance and mean, they are the same here. And let's come here. Uh, let's, let S be the random variable of the interval between su successive, successive occurrence of the event. The interval can be some unit of time or space, just like on Poisson. Then x is described by the exponential distribution with parameter lambda, which is the mean number of events that can occur per given interval. So here, uh, this is the, the exponential distribution, and here the mean and variance, they are the same, and it is 1 divided by lambda. So we will be going back here later. And the exponential distribution, we have this chart here, one, and then it goes up, almost touching the uh, horizontal axis. And the distribution function, that is exponent x lambda. So it's the lambda here for x, so not the mean. And then mean equal one divided by lambda, lambda is one divided by mean. And as with other Excel probability distribution function, cumulative is either uh, true or false, with true providing the cumulative distribution function. So at least and false the exact probability. How do we do that on Excel? So let's go on Excel file. So this is the distribution, a copy and paste of our PowerPoint. Uh, and remember, guys, all our Excel files are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. So the mean time to failure of critical engine component that costs three hundred and fifty thousand dollars is eight hundred eight thousand hours. What is the probability of for failing before 5,000 hours. So the mean is 8,000. So we need to find the lambda. Remember, lambda, one divided by mean. One divided by mean. 0 0.00125. And how do we find the uh, exponential distribution? So equal x this. We have two here. One is for old Excel, so depending on your version, it will show only one. Newer, two. We come here, x pound distribution. x, number of hours. Lambda, remember, it's not the mean. This is the most common mistake on exponential distribution. Lambda, and let's fix it. F4, I want the exact number, so cumulative here is false. 0 0.000125. So this is the first lambda. And let's create a chart here with this false. So we have here until 30. Insert. And let's see what we have. And let's call it exponential distribution. Whoops. And here we go. 
So let's copy and paste and see what we have. Huh? See, this is so, yes, so this is an exponential distribution. However, let's go to our cumulative to answer this question, by the way. So the cumulative exponential distribution, the x is here, the lambda is here, let's fix it. And now it is a true, because we want the cumulative. So, okay, there is 0% of, uh, of probability that the critical engine component breaks before it with zero hours. So we are not using it, so zero. And, oh, before we go, let's do the charge. And let's do the chart here and see what we have. Exponential distribution cumulative. And let's see what we get. It is a distribution curve, just like the other ones. And here, for our answer, before 5,000 hours, and here, it doesn't make sense the exactly because, oh, probability of falling exactly on 5,000 hours. Oh, wow. That would be kind creepy to find at the exact time. So here, that is why it is, if you go on percentage, 0.0066%. So the false is not good, but at least here, 46, oops, sorry, here, 46.47%. So almost 50%, 50 but it passed the half. And here, we assume that when the equipment's new, uh, there is a small chance of failure than when it is old. And even with 8,000, that is, mean, not the maximum user for life. So here is 63, and then it never goes to one. So it's almost touching the one, but never the one. So let's come here and go to the yellow again. And we can make this chart better because here we have one, two, three, and not the number of hours. So we right click, here, select data and category. It is our numbers here. So we have it better as well as here. We can go right click or left click, sorry. Select data, edit number of hours and our charge will be pretty. Okay, guys. Interesting, huh? So this is the exponential distribution on Excel. Thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.